Okay, here's the part I've been dreading the most. I've been putting it off and putting it off. It's all kinds of yucky. It's got holes, it's got rust, it's got dents. Yeah, I, I fixed that was one of my first videos taken on that corner and that took all day we're gonna finish this front grill assembly this whole thing we're gonna try to get it done in one day so let's give this a try we're gonna weld in steel I don't know about those I, I've been trying to find a big circle cutter so I could replace the hole around the headlight, cut out a new circle and a piece of metal and weld it all in. But I'm not finding a circle cutter that big or a hole saw that big. So I'll come up with something. Just have to hang in there and see what I come up with. And already, I'm finding added on pieces of metal. This doesn't belong here, it's been torch cut. Somebody put it in behind there, was gonna do something, but looks like they had some pieces pop rooted over top too. That's gotta go. And I never liked the way that turn signal looked truded out like that, so I'm just going to fill that in flat. My turn signals, if I use the headlights I'm thinking, my turn signals are going to be in the headlight integrated, so I don't need that anyways.
Lighting on your project is also key. <laughs> Okay, time for a slight break.
cross some fingers. Take extra time setting that up. That's very critical. Now it's well time. You probably won't get to see a thing of it.
gonna grind it and see how it looks. Okay, I think this side has turned out fine. You got that patch in there, got it wrapped around, got that top corner all filled in nice and smooth. Um, headlight buckets fixed. Now I'm going to sand up the rest of the front. But yeah, I was. I'm actually really impressed how that turned out. That's gonna that's gonna fill in nicely. But this is gonna be rust oleum rust reformer. I'm gonna use that on the whole front grill, any spots where there was rust, the whole front end, front clip. This sandpaper is cheaper than flapper disc, so Don't get me wrong, I think a lot of this rust killer, rust preventer, rust, I think it is gimmicky. I'm very skeptical, I've never had any of it work, um, but this is a vehicle that I can experiment with. This is a vehicle that I'm not, this is not a frame off, restore, this vehicle is not worthy of a restoration like that all completely done this vehicle is not worth enough money to do a restoration of that sort in the condition it was in so this is like I've said many many times this is going to be used as an off-road vehicle slash parade type vehicle it is not a show vehicle by any means not at all. I'm just saving it from the scrapyard. That's all I'm doing. So anybody that wants to complain that I'm not doing it right or I should cut all the rust out. Yeah, basically you should cut all the rust out. But there's times where I want to know if this gimmicky stuff does work or doesn't work. And since you can't take anybody's advice for anything anymore these days, Proofs in the pudding. Here it is. It's 2024, um, beginning of March, and I put this stuff on. We'll see in a year if it's rusting through. I'm going to put POR over it. I, I don't know. I, I use POR on everything. but And I don't know if that works either because I haven't done enough of these to be able to tell you definitely. Now I did do a truck that's sitting out in my driveway a year ago with POR. It's holding strong. So there's no bubbles, there's no rust coming back yet. Um, it made it through another Michigan winter. So we'll see. I mean, yes, this is not the proper way to do a show quality restoration, not at all. If you want to do a show quality restoration on this, you would take every panel off of this, throw it away, sandblast the frame, redo the, uh, re coat the frame, and buy all new parts and put it back together. That's not what this is about. This is about saving this vehicle from the scrapyard and getting it on the road again for under $5,000.
that's the goal. This is something I'm keeping and we're going to use we're going to use it. And who knows around here it might get used as a tractor. It is an international. Okay, I ended up getting this side done before I had to before I have to go in and edit and fast forward everything for you guys. So that is a, a wrap for this front end. We will. I don't know if we'll finish this off and mud it and primer it next week, or if I can get it out of the shop if the weather's good enough. I'll do the windshield frame. Um, that's going to be a chore. But uh has to be done. I was really dreading this and it turned out a lot better than I could have than I was thinking it was going to. Um or those headlight cut cutouts were uh, bugging me. That corner was bugging me. It was all a mess. And uh we got it looking pretty good. And it'll fiberglass in really nice. And I'll take that grill out. It's gonna get painted bumper color along with the dash and the roof so and i think i'm gonna get a new one because this one's got a big hole in it for the snow plow so but other than that we're good for this week i will see you next weekend like subscribe share comment yeah i got thick skin you can tell me what i'm doing wrong um and anybody can do this get out and work um, if you don't like the cuts and stuff that I get, then wear your safety gear. See you next week.